Hello, I'm Catherine and I thought I'd speak today about the soul purpose and the divine blueprint. So in my uh, online Akashic community, I was asking people what, what topics they're really interested in with the Akasha and the soul purpose is one that really came up for people as being important and you know, I know for myself that when I shifted and shifted some blocks and uh, began to express my purpose more fully in the world, it's a huge shift and one that many people are in the process of or wanting to make because living our purpose, it's what we're here to do as well as you know, fully experienced life and, uh, you know, express our, express who we are, what we're here to share and contribute. I believe that we each have um, unique soul purpose. We each have um, things that we're here to, to contribute, to express, to share on the planet at this time in this incarnation. Yet most people, if you look around, most people are not doing that. Um, in many ways, the planet is not set up to support this, to support living your purpose. It's it's set up to control and a lot of the paradigms on the planet, across the planet, are set up to control and disempower people. So as we are just... Um, having to spend most of our time just surviving, basically, whatever level of life you want to look at. This has been happening on the planet for a long time. So by surviving, it might look like for a farmer, that might look like growing food all the time. Um, for a, um, you know, for a person in the city, it might look like working all the time, working long hours to pay bills and expenses. So both of those are versions of survival, in my opinion. So I believe that's how the planet's set up. So what we're doing is just surviving. And uh, there's not a lot of room to really do our purpose or live our purpose. But it is very possible to begin anyway. And I believe that as we begin to and I have experienced that as we begin to clear some of the blocks and that's what I wanted to talk about today specific blocks that can interfere with the purpose um, with the full expression of the purpose as we begin to clear some of those blocks and that energy from our soul comes through that is so powerful and we do find ways to more fully express what we're here to express you know, we get, um, it's like we're connected and begin to express that. And we just find ways to express that. There's always ways. Um, you know, you may still have to do your job and also begin to do your sole purpose. Or it might look different for me. I left, um, for me, I knew that I had to leave the work that I was doing the very unsatisfying, unfulfilling work that I was doing and just go for it. I did have a minor accident at work and it was like being struck by lightning. I just it was a wake up for me where I went in that moment, I actually literally got it. I'd known I was a healer since I was 16. I'd sort of dabbled quite honestly with doing different putting, you know, healing work out into the community. But I didn't really believe that I could do that for a living, that I could earn money doing that, that I could make that my, that I could actually um, live my calling, live my purpose, my vocation and be paid for that. For so many reasons, I didn't believe that. So I was doing menial work and uh, while I, menial work while well, I work that I didn't enjoy different types of work that just weren't um, satisfying to me while I brought up my children I didn't have a full-time job I was um, mother with 
uh, my children were, you know, three at that point, um, four, four children and uh, as a sole parent. And um, so I just worked part time and hadn't really um, taken off with my career or focused on my career. I had lots of reasons and stories why I wasn't doing my healing work. I actually didn't think it was possible. Um, there were so many blocks in my energy and in my beliefs and a sense of disempowerment to doing that. But when I experienced this minor injury at work, it was seriously a wake up. And I just went in that moment, I'm like, I get it. I had been realizing it was time, but I had been telling myself stories, excuses, saying, oh, I've just got to earn more money. I've just got to do this, do that, get another qualification. Or uh, by this time, I had a lot of qualifications that I wasn't really using and um, just wait till my children grow up, just, um, you know, earn this much money. So I have this so I can do it, but um, I knew that the time was now and the message was strong enough and it took me some time to navigate that injury and uh, going through workers' comp, things like that, and I made a decision to begin doing my work and I began and that was um, 2013. And, uh, yeah, that doesn't mean it's always been easy you know in fact I look back and wonder how did I do that really I had no knowledge of how to do that on a business level um, I put advertisements and promoted my um, Akashic record work and I got clients and I began and uh, so yeah, quite quite the journey. It's still quite the journey. But uh, there's a level where we, when we get really connected with our purpose and remove some of those energetic blocks, things flow better. That doesn't mean in the 3D world that it's always a walk in the park. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's beautiful and flowing and everything flows and is amazing. And I find in my life that there's times when things flow and in that flowing, I can get in a sort of comfort zone um, that can be a bit stagnant and stuck. Just not really stagnant and stuck in a full on way, but like there's so much more, like I'm just getting in comfort zone, but I'm not expanding and growing. <clears throat> so when things stop flowing, it's often for me about, come on, next. What's the next level? What's the next thing? There's so much more. This is not it. And uh, so it's a journey and it just keeps, for me, it just keeps going to the next level and challenging and growing me, which I, I believe is what we're here to do, challenge, grow, learn, share. So I wanted to talk today about the soul purpose and the divine blueprint because I believe that's um, an aspect where uh, blockages can uh, show up an aspect that we can work with that can um, significantly help to get things um, moving again. And I'll explain a bit more about that. So just like a flower, your soul's always urging, like a, like a flower, like the small shoot of the flower that pushes up through the soil that grows up toward the sun, that opens to receive the light and the rain for growth and its roots push down into the soil. That flower has a seed that contains its divine blueprint it's for its fullest expression. So too do you have a divine blueprint that contains the blueprint for your soul's fullest expression. Now that divine blueprint can become corrupted, can become, uh, have blocks in it, energy, energetic and spiritual blocks. So as the blueprint's not clear anymore, so it's distorted, so as it's 
corrupted so as there's blocks to the energy flowing in the blueprint. And of course, that can really affect expressing the purpose. It can express affect even knowing what the purpose is. This is your blueprint. And so if that's all messed, it's hard to have clarity about your purpose. Does that make sense? It's like if you imagine a visual blueprint and someone's dropped ink all over it and then, you know, come along and, and dropped milk on top of that and you just, where's the blueprint? It's there, but you can't really see it. So clearly bits of it are all blotted out and messed up. So um, this is what can happen to the blueprint and with most people to some degree this has happened over lifetimes and it can be corrected so so why does this happen so through the choices that we make when we make repeated choices that are not in aligned with our purpose this can affect our blueprint it can create like a patterning in the blueprint that is um, like an overlay to the original pattern. Um, when we make agreements, um, spiritual agreements, again, that are blocking the, um, that are not aligned for us, they can again overlay in the blueprint. Uh, there's also things that, um, Viruses and uh, energetic viruses and infections can get in the blueprint. Uh, dark energy can accumulate. Can also get um, added codes. This is more often coming from high dimensional energies um, that at some point you've made an agreement with and they're using that agreement to uh, interfere through things like uh, implants and uh, interfering with the um, blueprint added codes, um, corrupting codes. So some uh, beings, higher dimensional beings, will have a corrupting effect on the blueprint if you have um, agreements with them and they use those as an opening to access you. Does that make sense? To access your energy and your blueprint. So what I find for many people is that um, restoring the blueprint is a really great thing to do to help to have clarity about your purpose. This is something that I learned as part of working with the Akashic Records, how to clear um, patterns, how to clear um, spiritual blocks and contracts affecting the blueprint. And uh, more recently, I've developed myself um, clearing uh, viruses, clearing dark energy, clearing um, the added codes and cor correcting corrupted codes. So basically, you know, your purpose is contained in the blueprint. So you want that blueprint just clear, yeah? So it's, um, yeah, so I thought I'd make this uh, video for your understanding. Um, and I can talk about different things that can interfere with the purpose and create blockages, seeing that's a keen interest for people. And uh, certainly the blueprint being um, corrupted from its original divine blueprint is an important part of that. So what I, what I decided to do, <coughs> excuse me, I could feel my nose pushing and whatever, but there you go. So um, I um, work with the Elohim and the Akashic Record Lords and Masters to restore the blueprint. I also at times work with the angels and archangels and masters, depending what's needed. I think it's a good idea to do one, at least one major clearing of the blueprint and correction to uh, 
you know, sort these, some of these major things out and then you can, um, if can be necessary to do some maintenance at times too, if there's some major things going on. But that one big clearing can uh, make a huge difference. And for me, beginning to do the Akashic work, clearing my um, Akashic records and blueprint are what really shifted some major energetic blocks. And so as the soul energy could flow through and shifted my sense of um, empowerment. So I felt more for the first time, greater confidence and uh, connection my, my spiritual connection was strengthened and for the first time I really just just went for it living my purpose so I've done a lot of different healing modalities but it was definitely the Akashic work that shifted things significantly they shifted some really major blocks from lifetimes and lifetimes that allowed me to shift internally and just get on with doing my work. So what I've decided to create is a uh, sole purpose activation session. And uh, in that, I would include the uh, blueprint work, clearing major blocks in the blueprint, clearing major patterns, interfering with the sole purpose, clearing any um, viruses, added codes, correcting code corruptions, also do a divine light activation for your purpose and um, clear any major blocks in the Akashic Records as we can manage in the session and give you a bit of information about your soul gifts and purpose as comes through from the Akashic Records and also connect you with like you're already connected. So I mean connect you as in share with you who one of your um, major um, key player team members is with helping you with your purpose. Just so you know that, so you are more conscious of who's helping you and with your purpose and you can call on them and ask their help with different things if you're um, feeling blocked or struggling with something there the one to call on, one of the ones to call on. So I hope you enjoyed learning a bit more about the Divine Blueprint and yeah, I'll um, look forward to sharing with you more about things that can interfere with expressing our purpose, that different types of energetic and spiritual blocks that can interfere with the purpose interfere with that flow of energy and that alignment with our purpose because I think that is a key reason why uh, people are not expressing their purpose many blocks of disempowerment um, blocks you know many of us have made um, agreements in past lives that interfere with doing our purpose I mean I've cleared so many agreements of um, not to be a healer not to speak the truth uh, you know, still working on fully clearing those at every level. <clears throat> um, so they can come up until they're really fully cleared and I get it. Um, religious obedience is another big one. Obedience, all things that have blocked me from fully stepping into my purpose. And as we shed these layers, it's honestly, it's like a sh snake shedding the skin and we just get... Uh, you know, closer to our original nature. So I really encourage you to do the work in whatever way speaks to you to clear those layers, to uh, allow you to more fully express who you're here to be, what you're here to share with the world. I know it can be challenging at times, believe me, I get it, but decide, decide that, um, if you have some sense of what you're here to do, for example, a healer or, you know, assist and guide people, whatever that is that, uh, you know, to work with the angels, to work with animals, to work with children, whatever that is, just ask for help. 
and uh, take some small steps from where you are and do the work, uh, the emotional work, the belief work, the spiritual work to make it easier for yourself to clear some of those layers so you can really uh, be expressing your purpose. One that brings such joy and fulfillment, even when it's the, even though there's challenges, there's really such joy and fulfillment in doing your purpose. And in not doing their pur your purpose, there's often such a deep soul sadness. So it's really important for you personally. It's what you're here to do, who you're here to be. Uh, you're also very needed on the planet at this time. It's like each of us has a role. And uh, so many people are not playing that role and doing what they are here to do, what they've agreed to do. And there's no blame or judgment in that. It's just encouraging you to push through some of that uh, resistance and uh, do it anyway. And one of the ways to actually fast track pushing through some of that resistance is through doing work with the Akashic Records because it will clear at a lot of levels and you still have to do the work yourself of making new choices, of taking action, but it helps to open the pathway and get the energy flowing. So thank you so much for listening to my video. And uh, if you are not a member of my community, Evolve and Heal with the Akashic Records, you might like to join me there and find out some more about uh, working with the Akashic Record, your purpose from the perspective of uh, working with the Akashic Records. Thank you so much for joining me.